what you got there, Aggie. So yeah, this little travel uke made of plastic and carbon fiber is pretty legit, I gotta say. I don't want to bore you guys to death with the details because there's a million reviews of this thing out there. I just wanted to do a quick comparison with it and my Kala, uh, I think it's K-A-T, so it's not a Muck Kala, it's a Kala, a tenor. This is a concert size, but I've heard people say it's a little uh, bigger than a normal concert. It's definitely smaller than the Kala. <laughs> But uh, sound-wise, I think this is doing really well, and playability-wise, it's really nice, too, because uh, no sharp fret ends or anything. The action's nice and low until you get a little higher. It's definitely kind of high, but who really plays up there on a uke? Um, but the, I love the style of it. I can definitely say, uh, you know, add me to a list of people on YouTube who are just like, yeah, this, this thing's great, especially for the price. I think it's going to need a little break in time. The strings seem to be staying in tune pretty well. I, I stretched them out a little bit, tuned maybe two or three times. I got it because it's, you know, not wood. So it's sturdy. Weather changes shouldn't affect the neck or anything. And come on, man, that Les Paul shape, you rarely see that on a ukulele, and I thought it just looked super classy, especially with the gold appointments. Normally I play tenors, but this feels feels nice. I'm, str I'm strumming kind of where I want to be. So this one, uh, my hand position definitely changes to right right there on the, the bow where it connects. Feels different because of the bigger body. I kind of like that smaller body, not going to lie, but um, the, really when it comes to the feel of it and the playability, I'd take either. I think, you know, if you want that wood feel, this is a nice feel. If that appeals to you, you know, I think you'd like this more. One thing I will say is I like the bridge on the uh, the Enya more. It's compensated, which I've never really noticed a lot of problems with intonation, but just the ties, and they kind of poke into your hand sometimes. But I think the biggest thing is definitely the tone and the sound. Um, this one definitely sounds warmer and louder. And so I think the tone on this is preferable, but it's also made of wood, so it's more prone to you know, damage or warping over time. Um, the metal frets over time, sometimes the neck can shrink just a little bit and then you get that fret sprout which wants to cut up your hands. The nut action on the Enya is, is lower for sure. If you put your finger on the third fret and see, tap down and see how much space is in between the string and the first fret, and there's a considerable amount of space on the Kala on uh, mostly the the G and the, the high string here, the two in the middle aren't as bad. You know, the lower that is, it'll be a little easier to play, but the biggest thing is your intonation. If it's too high, you'll notice constantly, like, th these notes are all out of tune. I really haven't had a problem with the Kala. The Kala is where I'd say, like, acceptable nut action, whereas the Enya is a preferable nut action, but the Kala is just fine. Again, I kind of prefer the Enya's bridge over this one, but none of these are really a make or break it. I think it's what you would want. But this is definitely warmer, uh, definitely louder. So, if we get some real strumming in there.
So hopefully you can tell that it's coming across in the video, the differences in tone, but still, um, I got this one for a different purpose. You know, I can take it in my car. I don't have to worry about it. Probably just leave it in my car. And because of the, the plastic frets, the plastic fretboard, the plastic construction all around with a uh, carbon fiber and I think it's like 30% carbon fiber mixed with polycarbonate yeah it just it's gonna be more sturdy you don't have to worry about like chipping it or dinging it or having it warp from temperature changes or humidity whatever so enough of me rambling about this uh, let me know what you guys think um, let me know if you have one or if you'd be interested in one I think this probably is the greatest beginner uke ever especially with the bundle you get the case the little goodie bag with the strap capo and new strings the strap and the capo match the color you get really well thought out product here it plays great sounds great it's awesome um at the end of the day i think i would still stick if i could only have one i would stick with a wood ukulele but um just for that sound and that feel the classic feel and sound but something like this, you know, it depends on your needs. If you're going to be traveling way more, want to just throw your uke around, and you can only have one, maybe this would be better for you. But, um, you know, I love both. I got this more as a backup just to throw in my car and take with me where I go. So let me know what you guys thought, and have a great day.